Abi Kimani. This is Ask Abi, and if you're new here, it's why I answer five questions per episode. So let's just go into question number one. Oh yeah, I didn't mention where the questions come from. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below, and I will gladly answer them. Now, hey Abby, what is the best way to radiate God's glory? Oh, by the way, I am a CETA member, and our vision this year is radiating God's glory. How do you radiate God's glory? In my personal opinion, in whatever you do, make sure that there's a godly measure in it. Usishiko kwa mitumbaya, in short. You shouldn't be caught drinking. Do you think God was drinking? Drinking alcohol. Okay, you know what I mean. Don't say Jesus was drinking wine. Please. Don't be caught doing bad things. Or do not do bad. Not actually don't be caught. Don't do bad things. Or uphold that image that you know that Jesus would be proud. And that God would be proud of you as his son or daughter. Yeah, that is my personal opinion though. So if you beg to differ... The comments are open for all, as long as you keep it respectful. So uh, let us go into question number two. Uh, dear Abby, how impactful do you think Sunday school is to a person's future life? I think it's very impactful, honestly. Because you might see it as a small thing, but it's like the basic the basis of our spiritual life it's like the foundation honestly so you build on knowledge you can't possibly start preaching speaking in tongues and working miracles when you haven't understood what miracles are how speaking in tongues works what gifts of the holy spirit are and where all those sorts of sunday school so i think it's just the basis for spiritual growth and yeah i do think it's important let us go into question number three. Uh huh. What would be a weapon of choice in a zombie apocalypse? But yeah, that's a good question. My weapon of choice. Um, probably like something like an axe. You know those. Kind of like an axe, but then it has like a very like roundish blade. I'd like that because it's lighter than an axe, and it's okay. Number one, I wouldn't choose a gun because if you're out of bullets, I wouldn't choose bow and arrow because my aim is terrible. Also, you can lose arrows. I choose something that can be used a lot for a long period of time. That's why I've chosen something like that. It looks something like this. Because like that way you can be able to sharpen it. It's very durable. It's a distance thing. As in you can keep a zombie at distance when you have it. Instead of having a close range weapon, you know. So yeah. I think that's... I think that would be my weapon of choice, honestly. Yeah, but I don't know about you guys. Stable, give me your opinions in the comment section below. Now, uh... Let's go to question number four. This is one question. Yeah, it is. Okay. Are you praying for election to take longer than stipulated? So that you stay longer at home no i am not because even though it would be nice to stay at home for long at this rate if these people take any more of our time i'm going to graduate high school with an id and a driving license i could be driving myself to school at this point because uh -uh, i can't afford to have this syllabus squeezed anymore this is stress having to juggle all these things in such little time it is stress so i don't want the syllabus to be squeezed like that again and as much as i'd like to stay home next year things will go back to normal so 
finally have holidays that are one month long. Ah, I've missed, I've missed that. But no, I wouldn't wish that. I don't want anything like that. Honestly, I'm really praying for our country. I wouldn't want that to happen. Mm-hmm. So uh, let us go on to today's final question, which is question number five. Dear Abby, what comes to your mind when you think of the word comfort? Um, in bed, it's raining outside and you're in bed, wrapped in warm blankets and you're eating something and reading a book or watching something. That's comfort. Because you just, ah, just, you're just here in bed, wrapped in a blanket. Then it's raining outside, but you're warm. And you're eating your favorite food. Ah! And you have a, ah, your cat there. Or your dog, I have a dog. He's really cute. His name is Bunch. But I like cats a lot. Ah! I mean, I'd like that a lot, honestly. I'd like that. But anyways, uh, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!